This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by Carbonite. For Hack 5, I'm Darren Kitchen here at RSA 2012 talking about one-time passwords with my favorite integrator. It is Stina Yubico. How are you, Stina? Thank you. Now, you guys just moved out to the Bay Area. It's been, what, like six months? How has that been for you? It's been great. Always sunny in, in Palo Alto. And a lot of awesome stuff has been happening with Yubico since we last spoke in the studio. What's going on? Oh, yes. The most exciting thing is that we now have a YubiKey with integrated NFC support. So you're talking about like the near field communications that you find in cell phones? In, in smartphones, not standard cell phones. Smartphones and some tablets. And during 2012, you'll see the range of smartphones and tablets supporting the NFC, yes. I, I'm actually kind of imagining that eventually we're going to start to see that kind of stuff find its way into our laptops. And then it'll be really fun when you know both your laptop and your smartphone have that. What do you demoing today? Oh, I'm demoing an application where you take your YubiKey to log in into an application on your smartphone. And this, the NFC initiatives have now been driven by the uh, payment providers, like Google Wallet and PayPal, and, and they're really excited, but they haven't thought about the security. I mean, putting a payment, your, your credit card data on the phone, and the phone is no more secure than a laptop. We want to add that extra factor of authentication to it. That is so awesome. In fact, that was one of the things when I first started playing with the UBK, I was like, this is great, except now when I want to log into that site, like like Hack5, for example, I actually need a YubiKey to log into Hack5.org now and admit it, it's so great. Uh, but I can't do that over my phone because my phone doesn't have a USB port to plug my YubiKey into. How does this work now with the NFC? So the, the YubiKey with NFC has both the standard capabilities, a USB port for a computer, and the NFC uh, that is on, you just literally tap it to the phone. You put it on the phone, and the phone opens a browser um, and uh, a URL and takes you to the website and, and sends the OTP, the one-time passcode, and you securely log in in a single tap. It's super easy. And, and that happens without any software installed whatsoever, just stock, like you, you're running an ice cream sandwich here on a Nexus, and you didn't have to put any special Yubico programs on here? No, it's um, client clientless. Literally, it, it's because it opens the browser. You can go to the website. It sends out the OTP, but the YubiKey has to be programmed to go to that website. I see. I can imagine this being great for, like, say, an example, a, a bank that has an online banking app, and they want to make it more secure, so that they know, oh, you lost your, you lose your phone. Oh no, right? But you're probably not going to lose your phone and your keys at the same time. Your YubiKey is on your keychain. You put those together, and you have your second factor of uh, authentication there. Yeah, and the big vision we're seeing is that you have your NFC YubiKey tied to your bank account, you download the amount of money you want to have on your YubiKey, uh, just like a prepaid card, and now I want to put $20 on my NFC YubiKey, and then I go to these NFC payment providers. I've seen that Pete's now have these NFC readers. Which is a coffee shop in the Bay Area. Yeah, yeah I mean, they're, they're coming more and more, these um, NFC payment, and instead of t going with your phone, which you, mean, you don't want to lose, you don't want to have all the secure credit card data on your phone, you just tap your single YubiKey, or you can have your phone, and then you tap your YubiKey with your phone, so no one will steal your data. Oh, see, there you go. Now, actually, you have two NFC devices. You've got a second factor of authentication for NFC. That's really fantastic, especially with, like, lately, a lot of uh, stuff coming out about how Google Wallet is actually tied to the device and not your account, and if somebody steals your Google phone and you don't have a PIN code and they can reset the app and get access to your money. That's a really interesting way of using that. Now, as far as like consumers are concerned, though, how can they use this with their phones today? Uh, you know, I know that a lot of uh, big corporations integrate YubiKey into their products and, and especially internally for logging in. But what about a consumer that wants to use it to log into their social networks and things like that? So the first consumer application now supporting our NFC initiative is LastPass. It's a cool single sign-on service that has made an app. In this case, it's any NFC YubiKey will work with that. You, and you, t you tap it to the, um, the phone, and you're securely logged in to all your online services through this. Uh, you, know, you can use the same YubiKey to, la to log into LastPass through your computer and on your smartphone. That's awesome. And so people can just go ahead and sign up with LastPass today, grab a YubiKey over at YubiKeyCo.com, uh, and, uh, and they're off to the races. Yes. And so when can we see the NFC one coming out? Oh, it's already out in pre-production. Uh, so we have a, a limited 
number that we're actually already got a few hundred um, orders off. We, we launched it just the other day. Uh, we are putting it in the production now here in California. Oh, nice. So you've got robots hard at work right now. Yes. So, yes, we're, we're going to have this in full production before the summer, but it's actually available on the web store already today. That is so great. And also, I, I'm really stoked about this. So for just your, your, your standard USB YubiKey, tell me about this guy. What was, the, what was the idea behind this? This is the cutest, smallest, one-time password token in the world. It's too small. You can't, you know, if you drop it, you'll lose it. Uh, the reason is actually some clients of us once um, have the YubiKey as an integrated part of their computer, or they want to use it with iPads, and then they want it to be an integrated part um, of the of the, the camera ca connection kit, which is um, so. Then you plug this into the computer, and here this is now integrated in the camera connection kit. It's really simple. And then you p press the button. So now you have a YubiKey finally for the iPad. I have a YubiKey for the iPad. And you didn't have to go to Apple and license the 30-pin dock connector and do all this crazy stuff. You're just like, hey, use the camera connect. Yes. That's where we started. That's awesome. <laughs> I, I, congratulations on that one. Yes. And then you can plug it into the, any, any computer, and then it becomes not really strong two-factor authentication because it's tied to the computer, but for some applications... Well, you, you can take it out if you've got really fine fingernails or some tweezers, because that thing, it just sinks into a USB port. Yeah, and there are some use cases you want a machine identity, you want an identity for the computer with user presence. Yeah, see, I, I like those, like the, uh, the Bluetooth USB dongles or some of those smaller memory sticks, like the uh, Cruiser Fit, where you can literally just leave it in your laptop and you don't have to think about it anymore. But like you said, you're right. Uh, you lose the the second factor if because now the the laptop has it built in. You have it built in, but you should always combine it with a pin or password. So, I think for some applications it's great. My favorite is putting on the keychain. I, I mean, I, I and I think the YubiKey Neo is going to be the big difference for us because now we got a key that works across smartphones that and all smartphones will have NFC shortly, and it can actually also it will work for physical world to open doors and cupboards. We're starting a project with a school is going to have it for lunch badges. Oh, that is so cool. Yes, it's a K-12 school here in in U.S. actually, for the kids. And, and it's because it's like it's NFC and it's open and it's and anybody can go and get dev kits and start programming for it, right? Yeah. That is fantastic. Where can our hackers go and start playing with the new NFC stuff now? Um, we will have a, um, all the code developer. It's sort of coming. It's really, really new. But technical documentation will be. You can find it under ubico.com slash ubikey dash neo and that's where you'll find everything and it's in the progress so don't be disappointed if you can't find everything today well hey we are gonna have to get you guys back on with the engineers to talk about some of the code and how people can integrate this with their own products in studio i'm so glad to see you guys again thank you so much sienna okay. carbonite protects your pictures and your other files from a computer crash fire theft or when you accidentally delete one by automatically and continually backing up your files and keeping them securely off-site you'll never have to remember to back up again whether you have one or two computers at home or several computers at your small business carbonite is the better backup plan over 1 million customers trust carbonite to protect their home and small business computer files with plans starting at just 59 bucks a year and start your free trial at Carbonite.com with the offer code HAK5 and you'll get two bonus months if you decide to buy. That's Carbonite.com and the offer code for two bonus months is HAK5. Hello and welcome to Hack5. My name is Darren Kitchen. What? What are you talking about? <laughs> D-Block. Oh, we're in the D-Block. Hey, welcome hey. to the C-Block. How's it going? It's time for the, oh right, because we opened the show at RSA. <laughs> Hi, it's nice to see you again. We hope you've enjoyed this episode and we'd like to bid farewell and say adieu. <laughs> adieu to you and you and you. Oh my god, you're so weird. Whatever, Technical Photo <laughs> of the Week, let's do it. <laughs> this one's from Wayno. Yay, Wayno! What's up? He sent us the obligatory cat picture of the week. It's Abby and Hetty, those two kitties, and they're adorable. Nice. And they just tickle my less, so I had to include them in this episode. <laughs> we gotta get some Maru up in here. Can you I get know, a what what to the Maru fans? I, I have a trash can, mm -hmm. no lid on it whatsoever, and she just kind of hops inside of it with her front two paws, and then her back legs legs they stick out and they dangle like up in the air. So she's like, the Wi-Fi antennas on them. <laughs> that would be so cute. Actually, hang on, we just got That's these not a bad in. Idea. Yeah, we could. 
What do you say we mod your cat with one of these? Huh? Mm. Uh, 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 uh. I think that weighs more than she does, actually. Perhaps. <laughs> All right. Well, do we have some trivia? We I love the do. trivia. I do too, actually. Last month's or last week's trivia question was oh, last month. <laughs> Oh. Yeah, it, yeah was it was last, last month. month. <laughs> All right, that, that works. <laughs> last week's trivia question was, which of these is not a feature of the NVIDIA Cal-L Tegra chip? Quad-core ARM Cortex-A9 CPU, 1.5 gigahertz clock speed, video output up to 2560 by 1600, or one or 16 nanometer, nanometers? Nanometers. Nanometers Nanometers manufacturing process. And the answer was the 16 nanometer manufacturing process. Yes, it has ginormous transistors that you still need a microscope. Ah. This week's question is, which of these is not a standardized motherboard size? Please, Ooh, God, help me if you one. don't this know this one. one. I like this. I know, it's kind of yeah. funny. Mini ITX, <laughs> Micro ATX, EATX, or XL ATX for those hey. extra large. ATXs. <laughs> Those extra large <laughs> mobos. Answer over at hack5.org. If we did not just give away the answer, over at hack5.org slash trivia for a chance to win some swag. Oh, hey, you know what? I know what I'm going to give away this week. Yes. I'm going to give away one of those 3M uh, Blackberry privacy screens Ooh, that we saw. That we got at RSA? RSA? Yep. Neat. Give away one of those guys. All so right. If you have a Blackberry, I forget what kind it is, 6900 or Whatever. something like that. One of those. If you have a BlackBerry, our sympathies go out to you. <laughs> if you don't know what I'm talking about, go over to my Google Plus and take a look at that awesome Ooh. photo from, uh, I wish I could say where I was. And, and I did black out the MAC addresses, but I've been having a lot of fun and you'll find links there to follow through and get your own, but we're not going to get that too much into that yet. So uh, in the meantime, asterisk wrap up, hack5.org slash a1111. Yes, hack5.org slash 1111 is a what? link to the Facebook event for the May 3rd, May 3rd, right? The 3rd. May 3rd uh, party that we're going to be throwing down at the Baltic. Why, why are you so excited? What's going on? If you hold down shift when you hit 1111, you get a lot of exclamation points. Oh, yay! All right, well, <laughs> hack5.org slash follow for all the other fun stuff. Uh, Technolist stuff is happening, so email us. Feedback at hack5.org. We'll see you guys next week with... Some fun. I'm doing some cool bash stuff, and, Ooh, and we're, we're, I, I we're taking some projects and merging them yet. together. <laughs> and I got some virtual private servers with the cloud and the edit you know and the changing do? of the stuff. Cancelled my cable. I'm building a home theater PC. Yeah, she uh, cut the umbilical cord. Yeah, or something. Finally, that's yeah. gross. The, the micro IT, nano IT, well, XL. Yeah. <laughs> Until next week, I'm Shannon. I'm Darren Kitchen. Trust your technolist. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. bye. Bye bye. No, we can't. We don't drop the F bomb on the show. You believe it. We know what happened. But uh, you don't have to look into the lens uh, unless you really want to creep people out and be all like. <laughs> slash RSA might exist. Cut that last part out. <laughs> it will by the time you get back. <laughs>